Maryland Wayne County Juvenile Court Judge Sheila Gibson was just a tad late for work this morning. And believe it or not, she still didn't put in a full day, even after being exposed last night by the investigators. But her work schedule today was an improvement over the repeated five-hour work days we caught her in our undercover camera investigation earlier. We tracked Judge Gibson for five days straight in October. She didn't put in a single eight-hour day. Worse yet, she was late every morning, up to two hours late, and left lots of people waiting in her courtroom, wasting their time and money. It's become a running joke at the court, with people inside guessing when she'll show up. Judge Gibson is pulling down 140 grand, and the taxpayers are getting shortchanged. Your Honor, I'd like to ask you some questions about your work hours. When we confronted her, she didn't have much to say. My mother passed, and, and her birthday was just, it's not a good day for me. It's but our story last night had some impact. She arrived at the courthouse just after 9 this morning, a little late, but not like it was before our story. Judge Gibson had cases scheduled to go at 9 a.m., and they were called only 20 minutes late. That's much better than the two hours late we saw when we had her under surveillance in October. She left work at 3.35 as a 7 Action News intern shot video with his cell phone from a public sidewalk. Still only a six and a half hour day, Judge. You can bet we're gonna keep watching. Our investigation that first aired at 11 last night is creating a lot of buzz on the web. Also late today, I got an email from a parent whose child has been before the judge for two years. That email says in part, thank you, thank you, thank you. Finally, someone was brave enough to bring this judge to the forefront and in the spotlight. In all the time we have been attending review hearings every three months, today is the first time she has gotten there before us. Our attorney was told the point uh, was to the point where he would attend hearings at other court buildings because she is never there before 10.30 or 11 a.m. A Michigan Supreme Court rule says court sessions need to have a definite start time and judges are supposed to start them promptly. Virgil Smith, the chief judge of the Third Circuit that oversees Gibson's juvenile court, we asked him who holds judges accountable. He said he would be watching our story and hold the judge accountable. This morning we called him. His assistant told us the judge had nothing more to add to what he had already told us. Now, I've gotten so many people on Facebook saying, hey, that's not the only judge. We've got other judges like this. And so I said, well, please give us the names. We'd love we, to hold them accountable. We'd like to hear from them, and, and we'll take a look. All right.